Good morning, folks. Today we're going to check in on astronomy, geophysical science at the Schumann Resonance, and a very concerning data result from the May 2024 solar storm, the most foreboding yet. Of course, we're starting as always with the last 24 hours on our star. It was another quiet day. The sunspots have decayed, turned out of view, or lack the complexity to make larger flares. There are a few plasma filaments, but they too appear relatively stable at the moment. While geomagnetic activity is calm here this morning, we could see that change today as the enhanced solar wind associated with this massive coronal hole should be arriving at Earth soon. The coronal hole stretches more than 25% of the sun's circumference. That is a big one. We know the solar wind from it is due today and the coronal hole precursor arrived this morning in the stream. Telemetry shows a phi angle flip earlier today. That's in the blue panel there. Faster stream is coming in the next few hours. Sunspot situation looks the same, only you can now see that incoming spot on the north top left much more clearly. Not enough complexity to make bigger flares with what we see here, even that big one would need to develop some more. And the same sentence has been handed down by the coronal magnetic fields for the plasma filaments. Right now the outer or boundary fields of the coronal hole are providing considerable structure to the corona and chromosphere. Filaments don't appear to have budged much at all. Still tracking the comet across Soho Lasco C3, so rare to get such a big sight, could be years before we see anything like this on camera again. More details were in yesterday's video if you missed it. Up first in the articles, we are finding a nova that destroyed its planetary system, but not itself. The remnants of the destroyed planets form dust clouds within the recurrent nova nebula and are obscuring the star, causing irregular dips in the light. Up next, we're at the single best paper on the Schumann resonance in years, with respect to its interaction with the human body. Tons of topics hit in this literature review, impact on overall health, on specifically heart function, liver and kidney function, brain function, and even mitochondrial performance. It is entirely plausible that the resonance is a concurrent symptom to the health effect, both caused by an electromagnetic external forcing, but alas, Schumann resonance tracking some of the most important things that we want to be tracking here today. Last but certainly not least, folks, I did the math on expected ozone loss due to the May 2024 solar storm. Under normal magnetic field conditions, it's a negligible impact, few percent. I estimated a 15 to 20% reduction in ozone layer protection would show up in this storm because of Earth's weaker magnetic field now now that we're in a pole shift. I wasn't even close. 60% reduction in an event that lasted 18 days. At extremely high altitude, there was even significant depletion, which was not expected. Folks, whether it's the auroral production, the ozone depletion, the technological disruption, or the KP index versus the solar wind, less and less space weather is causing stronger and stronger Earth impacts. This can't hold much longer magnetic pole shift on its way. Our planet is definitely entering a new age. Folks, next event at Observer Ranch, we have a special educational event of aid, comms, and care on the 18th. First aid in the wild is a key survival skill. Comms focuses on ham radio. There will be a chance to win one. There is an Observer meetup on the 21st, pole shift conference on the 25th and the rest of the year we have several other pole shift conference opportunities for you grand opening is going to be in april dr dunning's coming for the kings of catastrophe event in may there is still more to be announced nobody ever regrets or forgets coming to an observer event plan a trip and come out and see us it starts at observerranch.com we greatly appreciate your support we'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.